Is this what I get when I become benevolent? Thousands of years ago, in a small town of India, there used to be a big, giant, magnificent snake. He was known for his thunderous hissing and biting people. The villagers were terrorized. It went on for a few months and then they reached to a saint. They went there and pleaded, Oh Lord, please help us. This snake is making our life hell. We cannot pass through the village. The saint, who was in deep meditation, opened his eyes and then went to the place and invited snake. Once the snake arrived, he said, Oh magnificent snake, you are such a beauty. You don't have to go down to eat me. You have enough that can feed you from the forest. The snake, which was mesmerized by the charisma of the saint, agreed. A few months later, when the saint was passing through the same village, he saw the same snake on a branch of a tree. He was wounded, he was practically dead, and he was looking to the saint's eyes. Is this what I get when I become benevolent? saint smiled and said, My friend, I ask you not to bite, but you did not understand the full instruction. I did not ask you to stop hissing. The snake understood the instruction and from that day onwards, both snake and villagers lived peacefully. My dear friends, many a times when we become good, we think that we'll be taken over by the bad people. But being good doesn't mean that you don't protect yourself. This particular story was taken from a book, The Way of the Monk by Gaur Gopal Das. And I hope you liked it. God bless you all.